Charmy with Indiegogo. Today we are unboxing Caesar ET24 Pro, a professional book scanner. All right, let's do it. Oh, comes with a box cutter of some sort, so let's give that a shot. Okay, so let's take a look what's inside. It's beautifully packaged, uh, very secure. Nothing looks to be broken or, uh, you know, everything is really in place. All right, so the accessories that come with the scanner. Um, so we have the side light. Again, this is great for removing glares of glossy pages. they have got the on and off button here and the lights here. We have got the um, finger control, so uh, Caesar ET24 Pro is really, they're known for being able to scan pages of books as quickly as one per second. So you have two options um, to really control the pace of your scanning. So you have the foot pedal um, and you also have your hand, finger, hand and finger control here. Um, other things in the box, of course, we've got the software driver. Um, we have the power adapter which actually comes with three different outlet adapters. And we've got the HDMI cable. And then lastly, we've got these finger cots. They're actually labeled right and left, so you know how to hold them properly. What it does is this helps with keeping whatever you're scanning flat. Um, this one may be challenging since it's so small. <laughs> but so we've got, uh, you just hold it off to the edges and you can scan it like this. Um, and that's what that's for. And yeah, so those are all the pieces. Let's get it set up. All right, so let's put the scanner to the test. We've got it set up here on my desk and I've downloaded the software. So here we go. We're gonna start with a, a sketchbook. Uh, a, I was thinking a good use case is for artists who kind of want to play around with um, placement and colors and, and be able to, you know, make a digital scan to play with it, maybe on Illustrator or take it to your iPad, etc. So let's do that here. So on their software, it will allow me to actually line up the center of the page within the line that is. Um, visually presented here. And you have the options of a flat, which is a single page, facing pages, which is what this is. Um, you can combine sides, manual selection. Um, and so yeah, let's try the facing page and let's give it a scan. So the good thing um, that really stands out with this scanner is that it has high resolution of 24 megapixels. So if you are an artist and you want this to um, be a high quality scan of your artwork, it's, it's a really big plus. So let's take a look at it here. So it went ahead and scanned um, and it actually separated the pages for us. So the left side is showing up. Um, and as you can tell, it has like auto, um, auto mending and also curve flattening features. So it appears more um, in a paper form and less of a photo form. And then here is the other side of that. Great, very cool. All right, on to the next thing to scan. So the next thing we're gonna try and scan is a textbook on drawing. Uh, one really big feature of this specific model is that it can scan one a page per second, which is super fast. So let's say I'm taking a drawing class and I would like to share this textbook with my class. Um, so let me place it here in the center. And as you can see, there's quite a glare. It's a glossy, it's a glossy front cover book. So Caesar actually sends a side light to get rid of these glossy glares you see. Um, let's give it a shot here. So it quickly and easily attaches, it's, it's magnetic to the back. And as you can see on 
here and on the screen, we're still seeing a glare. So what I'll do is actually turn off the main light coming from the top and turn on the side light. There we go, you have a backlit uh, book cover here. One of the features that come with uh, the scanner is a finger control um, trigger. So you can scan as quickly as possible using your finger. Another one is um, the foot pedal, which you can, if you prefer to keep your hands free, you can use a foot pedal and scan as quickly as possible with this. And so let's give that a shot. That is where we auto select what we want to scan. So here we go. And I will use a finger trigger to scan it. And let's take a look. Perfect. All right, so there's the book cover. And now let's test the speed. So let me open up this book to a page here. And let me change the setting back to facing pages and align with the center here. All right, so I've got the finger control ready to go. And let's, I'll count myself down. All right, one, two, three. And there you go, I just scanned uh, six individual pages in that short amount of time. Um, but let's take a look at them and see how they turned out. Great. There's one. Five. And six. Another feature that comes with the software is it actually allows you to edit the text. Um, if that is something you are interested in doing. And it also recognizes 180 languages. So let's test it out with the scanner. So we will place it again on the mat. And you know, for this, I'm gonna go with manual selection so we can see and choose the part of the artwork we want to scan. Very quickly, it has scanned, and let's take a look at it. Beautiful, we've got an abstract artist in the making. All right, um, so construction paper, um, mixed medium here. We've got some markers, we've got, well, we asked her, is it a sun? She proclaims this is a moon. So her moon work, let's give this a scan. All right, so brown paper on this black mat. This time I'm gonna do flat single page and see how that scans. All right, and it's already scanned, so let's take a look at it here. Beautiful. Hmm, but you know, I do like selecting um, the manual selection when it comes to her artwork, so I'll probably do that with the rest of them. But again, this is a great way without having to keep the tons of paper um, in my house or in her room, um, but having a digital copy of it as well to keep and maybe to share with her as she grows up. All right, so we've tested quite a few things. I wanted to throw something else on Caesar's plate. Um, something that you can't scan with typical run-of-the-mill scanners is 3D objects or objects that uh, may be helpful to record digitally. Um, this one is a carving from Palau, which is where my husband's family is from. Um, really beautiful, intricate artwork that um, I would love to preserve in other ways. So let's get this on the mat. Great, let me test the lighting here. So that's the brightest setting off. Turn on the side light. Hmm, all right. You know, we've got plenty of lighting in this room as well. So I'm gonna go with this lighting mode. All right. So with this one, I'm gonna choose manual selection. I know exactly what I wanna scan and where. So let me recenter this. 
and hit scan. So let's see how this turns out. Beautiful. All right, so thank you for sticking with me through the unboxing of the Caesar ET24 Pro. Um, we have thrown quite a few things at this scanner and it was able to scan it, including this little carving here, uh, which is super cool. Again, couldn't do that with a regular scanner. Um, overall impression, uh, very impressed with the quality of the equipment, um, its speed, uh, its megapixels. Um, overall, just such a breeze to use. Um, definitely see using this more often than I anticipated. Um, Caesar, as a brand themselves, is uh, quite a reputable company. Um, they've had six campaigns on Indiegogo and has raised over $7 million. Um, not only that, but they're one of the first to receive a proven trust badge, um, which is really only given to campaigners who fulfill backers and orders. So thank you so much, and um, we'll catch you on the next unboxing.